This is the first G5 level storm since October of 2003, and it could bring the Northern Lights as far as South Alabama. An extreme geomagnetic storm is happening right now for the first time since 2003. This is due to the sun emitting strong coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, some which are traveling on a path near the Earth in a cluster. Space weather forecasters are working with power grid operators to minimize the impact. Dr. Brian Davis, a professor at IU South Bend, says that while the sun produces CMEs all the time, these are stronger and could allow for viewing of Aurora Borealis, better known as the Northern Lights, in the area. The less light pollution there is, the better you will have a chance of seeing this. Um, so generally, I would try to make sure that you're in as dark an area as you can get to and to have a nice, clear view to the north. You need to have no clouds. Davis says if you still have your eclipse glasses, the sun has a special view of his sunspots right now. The sun goes through an 11-year cycle, and right now we're near the peak of that cycle, so it's a very active sun. But even during most active sun phases, it's rare that you have this powerful geomagnetic storm, and it's rare that you have sunspot groups on the sun that are large enough to see without magnification. There have been concerns about technology failures, including GPS, power grid, and satellite disruptions, but Davis says that most devices like your phone are protected, but some radio communications may encounter problems. You can get CMEs that are large enough that they actually produce currents in long wires. Uh, if that happened, you could start getting fluctuations in the power grid or the telecommunications grid. Davis says due to the intensity of the geomagnetic storm, it could last through the weekend, giving you a longer chance to see the northern lights. At the live desk, I'm Asher Booksman, WSBT 22 News.